Oh, praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So I wanted to share that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I wanted to let you guys see um, what the brother was showing. He was just showing, you know, uh, the land of Israel and, you know, showing um, how the Most High had destroyed that city, Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, but anyway, you know, that is uh, our homeland. You know, all of that land belongs to the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. And uh, the Most High is going to gather His people and bring those bring us back to uh, our homeland. Uh, those same people that were scattered and dispersed in different countries and throughout the earth, He's going to gather His people back through His Word, and uh, uh, His people is going to dwell back in those lands under uh, under righteousness, though, because according to the scriptures. We know that the city of Sodom and Gomorrah had a lot of wickedness going on. Uh, so the Most High destroyed it by fire. So let's just read. Uh, uh, let's read 36. I'm sorry, Ezekiel 36. And uh, we just started. Uh, three. And it says, therefore. Prophesy and say, thus said the Lord God. Yahweh, because they have made you desolate and swallow you up on every side that ye I'm sorry let me just get some I'm gonna focus on this uh, it says that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and are infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. God, Yahweh, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, to the desolate wastes and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and, and a derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Therefore, said the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Adumia, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart 
and the heart represents the mind. So these people is dwelling in uh, the children of Israel homeland, you know, and they took that land for possession unto themselves, and they've been dwelling in that land ever since. So in the last days, the Most High is going to gather the children back and bring them back to that land. The people that was taken into slavery and scattered throughout the earth. He's going to gather those people and bring them back to their original land. So that's so these scriptures are clearly telling us that the people that's in that land are are, are not uh, the people of the Most High. Uh, so we got to get understanding of that. Uh, and it says, prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel. And say unto the mountains and to the hills, to the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, said the Lord, <laughs> Yahweh, I have lifted up my hand, I have lifted up my hand, surely. The heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. So these people that's dwelling in the land is going to bear their shame uh, because they shouldn't be they, they're not the people of that sh according to the scriptures uh, 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 that should be dwelling in the land because God is bringing the children of Israel that were scattered back to that land so he hadn't scattered he had to gather his people he's gathering his people as we speak by his word so the people uh, is still exiled out of that land. They haven't been brought back yet. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's get some more uh, edification on this.